Now, how many of you remember studying Wilfred Owen poems at secondary school, My Hand is in the Air, arguably one of the greatest poets in British literacy, with strong ties to Oswestry, of course. Now, singer-songwriter Dean Johnson from Birkenhead recently turned the poetry of Shropshire-born Wilfred Owen into a musical called Bullets and Daffodils, which will be shown in the West End very soon. He's also opened up the UK's first permanent Wilfred Owen exhibition in Birkenhead, and if that wasn't enough, he's helping develop a Wilfred Owen trail, which will eventually lead from Oswestry to Birkenhead. He's doing a lot of work. Our reporter Ibra Khan went to Oswestry today to meet Dean to talk about one of Britain's finest poets. I was educated at a place called the Birkenhead Institute, uh, and Wilfred had been a pupil there, you know, obviously 100 years before me. I was like everyone else. War poetry was heavy going for me, you know, and I was staring out the window and I thought, I just thought it existed in the movies. But as I've got older, and I, and I became a creative writer myself, of course. I began to understand and absorb the, the reality of, of his work and how important it was and the, and the price that he had paid. He was clearly a poster boy for a lot of the soldiers yeah. in World War One. What sort of significance does he have now? I mean, do soldiers these days even know who Wilfred Owen is? His popularity is, is growing all the time. And he's now overtaken Shakespeare in the schools as the most studied poet. And I, and I believe that the current conflicts, because they're so widely reported in the media, people are taking on board war poetry more than ever before to understand the current conflicts. I believe Wilfred Owen is held in very high esteem among the soldiers today, the troops abroad today, because he dignifies what they're doing, that it does mean something. Here's a guy 100 years ago that, that's saying... War is awful, but, but sometimes it has to be done, but it's, it should never be done lightly, but it's a very serious and, and, and solemn thing. It's Armed Forces Day next yeah. week. What are some of the lessons think, that we can learn from Wilfred Owen's poetry? See, Wilfred Owen eventually volunteered and for all things. He said to protect all that was English. He was frightened that a, a war in Europe would, would change our language, that we, that we would lose on our natural heritage and in a way that was quite a beautiful thing to join and I'm sure that every soldier today joins for, for his own reason none of them is for the aspect of killing or being killed Wilfred Owen was famously said that war was futile and it is it for nothing of course not it, it, it always is for something if there was another way you know, I'm, I'm sure that, because Wilfred Owen is known for his words, I'm sure that every war happens now because people run out of words. Favourite poem? Favourite poem, Futility. It's one of the shorter ones. Um, it's, like a, it's like a sonnet and what it is, Wilfred Owen seems to have lost faith in a way in, in mankind and in God and religion at this point of the war. He seems to turn to Mother Nature herself to try and raise this wounded or dead soldier that he's gone into the metaphysical he said that i think everything else has let us down can nature raise him now now you know what i'm going to ask yeah, you yeah, aren't yeah, you yeah. i'm going to ask you to uh, to yeah. recite it for yeah. me it's on the plaque isn't it it's, yeah. on, it's on the wolf and plaque so it, it, it often is futility or anthem for doomed youth which is another one that's very well known so in your best voice okay futility by wilfred owen move him into the sun Gently its touch awoke him once. At home, whispering fields half sown, always awoke him, even in France, until this morning and this snow. If anything might rise him now, the kind old sun will know. Think how it wakes the seeds and woke once the clays of a cold star. Our limbs so dear achieved, our sides, full nerved, still warm, too hard to stare. Was it for this? The clay grew tall. Oh, what made fatuous sunbeams toil to break the earth's sleep at all. Singer-songwriter Dean Johnson there talking to BBC Radio Shropshire's Ibra Khan about the importance of Wilfred Owen's poetry in today's society. And if you liked what you heard, there'll be more from uh, Wilfred Owen recitals for next week as we celebrate Armed Forces Day on BBC Radio Shropshire. Oh, I could listen to Dean for a long time. That was lovely.